how to use members area with wix hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how to set it up and how to use it so basically if you don't know what members area is it's pretty much an application that wix has that you can install on your site which is going to allow your members to sign up with accounts and sign in into their accounts and go to profile pages and stuff like that so there's going to be a lot to it and you can even give them uh, some access to like specific pages and they only have the ability to access them and stuff like that. So there's a lot to it. Uh, and I'm just going to try to cover that all in this video. So to get started, you will need to actually install the app because it's not going to be there by default. So click on edit site on the top right corner and just open up your site ed editor. And once this loads up, I'm going to show you exactly what to do next. Okay, so once your site opens up, we're good. We're good. We're sorry, we're just going to go ahead and install the app. So to do so, we just want to go to add apps from the left side of the dashboard. So just go and click on that. And then from the app market, you simply just want to go ahead and search up members area. I can't spell or speak today. So let's just go ahead and do that. So once you actually type it correctly, you just go in and hit enter and now it should actually pop up a few things, including the Wix members area. This is going to be the account that you actually need to install. So just go in and click on it. Once it loads up, you simply just want to click on add to site and we are sh we should be good to go. So just go in and give it a sec and it's now just going to take us to the uh, pages. It's just going to create a few things for us. Now, once this is done, we can actually see this page, set up pages for logged in members. Once your site visitors creates an account, they become a member. The members area app complements the other apps installed on your site. Like, for example, the actual store site. If you have a on, on, an online store, it's going to give you, for example, the wallet page. So it really depends on what type of apps it, uh, that you already have. It does make a difference a little bit. By adding pages like account profile and orders and other pages as well. So I'm just going to exit out of here, but you can click on discover members area, but I'm just going to exit out of here and show you for the time being what they have installed for us. So in order to see that, we can actually go ahead and click on the pages and menu section from the left side panel. And once we click on that, we should be able to see the rest of the normal stuff. But now we should be able to also see two different things the sign up and login forms which if we click on it's just going to show us you know the actual forms so new member sign up existing member login uh, these are the two forms that we have and you can even make it a custom form if you want to really change it but uh, i mean you don't really need to it's a sign up and login form so what more can you actually add to it right uh, but if you want to if you really want to you can just make it a custom form and add that now we also have the login form so you can actually go ahead and set them up if you want to. So we can just leave them as they are. So this is going to be something new which was not there before and people now it can actually access that and sign up to your site and create accounts in them. Now if you want you can also click on additional sign up and login settings which is going to take us back to the dashboard. There's just going to be some extras if you want to set them up. For example, who can uh, who can become a site member? Uh, it's default whoever signs up is going to be a site member automatically but if you want it to be only people you approve you can just go in and select that if you want to uh, you also have more things like you know if you want to ask members to confirm their email and recaption and stuff like that i'm just going to leave it as it is so i'm just going to cancel and exit now the other thing that uh, members area app installed for us which is going to be this member area section which is going to have the different pages Right now, we only have the account settings page, which is the one that we're on. So people can actually, you know, adjust some stuff about themselves, like first name, last name, and also the um, login information. And it's also going to give them the wallet. Now, my wallet app or page is not going to be available for everybody. If you don't have services or products installed on your Wix website, it's not going to show because it's not really necessary. Um, so if you don't have a cart, it's not going to show up automatically. Now, uh, also you're going to have within the same place, my booking. So if you want to use that as well, it's going to be available for you. You can, you can even open it up and see the different services that are available. Now, uh, if you have an actual services site, it's going to be available, obviously. Now, for, if you have a, a product, it's going to be different. And it really depends on the app that you have installed or the apps that you have installed on your site. 
Now, here's the thing. If you want to start adding some more pages from the members area, for example, one main page here is actually quite missing, which is the profile page, which is the page where people actually go to and see their you know profile picture, the banner and stuff like that. You can feel free to actually add that and it's going to be very simple. You want to click on members area and then once you see the members area on the top here, click on manage member pages. And once you click on that, it's going to show us a list of pages that we can actually add. For example, once we are on the all pages, we can actually see account settings, which we already have. My bookings, which we already have, but you can feel free to remove it because it's not really necessary, but I'm just going to actually keep it. You also have the custom member page, uh, which is also going to be a thing. We also have the profile page. So whichever page you actually want to add, click on add page. And it's just going to take a little bit of time and it's going to create it for you. And now you can feel free to adjust it, you know, further. But it's not going to basically any page with the members area is not really going to have a lot of customization options, by the way, that you can really play around with. So let's just go and wait, wait for this to load. I'm not sure why it's taking a little bit more time than expected. OK, so right now it's done. But before we check it out, I'm just going to click on that and add the other one as well. So I'm just going to click on all pages and go to custom member page and click on add page and again just wait for it to load so now that we have all the pages available let's just discuss how you can change some of the stuff now most importantly is going to be the profile page this is the one that you can do most impact with kind of because like i said the other ones or even this one you don't really have a lot of control here but this one specifically specifically you can even change the layout for this entire thing so let's just go in and do so uh what we can do is click on the uh, the thing itself which is the member profile card just make sure that it is selected so i actually needed to click a few times in order to get there so once twice three times in order to actually get to it now that I'm, in, uh, you know, using the actual member card here, what we can do is just click on settings, which should pop up here at the bottom. Once you click on that, it's just going to open up the settings for it. But most importantly, if we just go to layout, we have a bunch of stuff that we can change. For example, the profile picture layout, we can make it so that there is no profile picture. Uh, but let's just go ahead and keep that in here. You can even make it square if you want to. Aside from that, you can even change the size image, uh, the image size, whether you want it to be small, medium, or large. I'm just going to keep it as medium. Now, this is something that I actually like. The cover image size is going to be the one at the back, which I'm just going to make medium. But here's the thing. I'm going to change the alignment of the profile picture and the name to become in the center, which I actually like the looks of this one uh, better. Now, it's completely up to you, even if you want it to be from the right if you're i'm not sure what's why would you want to do that but if you want to feel free to do so some languages go from right to left so if that's the case that's fine so uh just go to change your layout completely to how you, however you actually like it to be and then when it comes to display you can change a few things here like what actually does show and what does not uh, for example show followers and following if you want to add this uh, little element that's fine you can feel free to do so now, design-wise, you also have the to, the ability to change the text. Some things like you know the actual, uh, uh, you know the size, the paragraph, the style, the fonts of both, the member name, description, following, and followers counter. So things like that. Uh, background, you can even change that as well if you want to change the default uh, color for for the background color. Uh, the uh, sorry for the background image and stuff like that. Now this is only be the uh, this is only going to be the default. I'm pretty sure people can actually change it so to be whatever they actually like. And you also have the badges here if you want to create some. Feel free to do so. Now the rest you can't really do much with like uh, at all. So there's not much that you can do. Let's just fix this. I'm not sure why this was broken, but people are going to be able to see themselves with this page. So next up, we also have the settings and account settings and stuff like that. You can feel free to change the layout a little bit, but it's not really necessary to do much here. I mean, you can change the um, menu here. So let's just click on change layout. You can actually see that the menu here at the top, my account wallet, we can make it so it is cards instead. This is the only option that we can really change. Nothing much to it. So aside from that, let's say we want to start creating pages for our members and only 
for our members. So not everyone can access them except them. So in this case, let's just go in and create a page or actually let's just use a page that I already have and I'm not really using. I mean, this entire site is just a test site anyway. Okay, so let's say we want to use this page here. Now, obviously, you can feel free to create your own custom page, but I just use one that already exists. It's not really going to make any difference whatsoever. So let's say we want this Q Community Center page. We want it to only be accessible to members, not, not you know people who just visited the site. In order to do so, you just want to click on Pages and Menu. And then you just want to locate that page that you want to uh, keep it only members. And then just click on the three dots right next to it and click on settings. This is going to open up the settings here. You can do a lot of stuff with this, you know, page. Um, but what we want is going to be within the permissions tab. So just go ahead and click on the top. You should be able to see permissions. Click on that. And now you can actually see it's going to be accessible by everyone. That's the default one. If you want it to be uh, protected by password holders, you can also do that and just set up a password. And if you want, which is the one that we are really focusing on, site members. So just go in and click on that. And by default, it's going to be all members. But you can just go in and click on the other option, which is going to be specific members. So only chosen members will have access. So just go in and select that and just go in and select the members with roles if you want or members with planned subscriptions or you know site collaborators so whatever it may be and then once you actually go in and do this it's going to be only uh, the members with specific plans or roles now if you don't want it to be the case that they need to have a role or have a plan subscription you can feel free to just turn them off and now it's just going to be specific members meaning um any site member so you can actually see members who signed up to your site or customers who purchased a plan can access this plan uh, sorry this page so if you have just, you know, you did this and you just exited out of here, that means that only people who have signed up is going to, are going to be able to access this page, no one else. Uh, but if you want it to be specific plans, memberships or subscriptions, stuff like that, or roles, you can even set that up from the same page. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean the rest of the page is going to have the same thing. So we can actually see again, if we click on that, you can actually see on the left side here, um, you can actually see members page you can see the icon right there and see the home page it doesn't have that and if we click on settings go to permissions we can actually see that it is a site members or we can even make it sorry all members uh or we can just go to uh, the home page and click on settings and we can see that this one is just stuck to everyone so this is pretty much how it works just go and make sure you set this up to be um settings permissions and site members all members sorry i'm i was confused a little bit but just make it all members this means everyone who has signed up that means just going to be access it uh you're going to, have, going to have the ability to access it is pretty much what i'm trying to say here so this is pretty much all for this video hopefully you found it to be informative and helpful and thanks for watching